Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. This is pointing fingers at me and I am Madonna Otley St. Pri. I am Madonna Otley St. Pri. Remember before we point fingers at others, four fingers is pointing straight back at us. So don't be quick to point fingers at others because we all have things in the closet to be cleared out. We all have things in our lives that need to be cleared out. Cleared out. So let us don't be quick to judge others and say things because we all have things. We all have something. Even though we don't think we have something, we all have something that we need to clear out from our lives. We need to clear out from our lives and our hearts. So today, I am. it's a time for everything. There is a time for everything. That's, that's the, the topic <laughs> for today. There is a time for everything. And I'm reading, before I begin, I'm reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and from verse 1. There is a season, a time, a time appropriate, appointed for everything and a time for every delight and event or purpose under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot what what is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to fear to tear to tear down sorry a time to tear down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search, and a time to give, give up as lost, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear apart, and a time to sew together, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time to war, and a time for peace. Father God, we bring this word before you. And Lord Father, I pray that you'll saturate this word with your blood this morning and take charge and take full control in every single thing that I say will be something, oh God, to enrich our lives today, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. A time for every th single thing. And when, when I think about that topic, you know, think about a time for everything. It had a time in my life that I didn't, I did not want to accept it have a time for everything. Where, you know, it will just be, I want this now, and I need it now, and that's it. You know, and sometimes we can be very spoiled, right? And sometimes when we see God giving us this, 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 and he giving us a lot of things, sometimes we tend to overdo call it like that we tend to see the pattern okay god constantly giving me and then when he don't give us something we, we get upset and in my life i wanted the thing is i did a degree in biology and i wanted um i wanted to become a dentist right and i have seen in my life that sometimes when you when you tell god god take everything he really takes everything and then after he replace your life with what he is going to give you right so i said you know i want to get into dentistry i tried in trinidad so many times and it didn't come through and then i tried in mona jamaica and it did came true right and i was like yes yes lord finally something going in my direction and what i want to do and that i i was accepted the the september the september of that year i cannot remember the year right now because i will just be going and think for a little long time so this september of that year i i got accepted to go mona jamaica to do dentistry oh yes past interview and everything i was like yes lord what's going to happen for me and then after it was like a period where 
in no that was september by november november december i found out i, I was pregnant right i found out that, that i was pregnant with twins but you remember i told you that i was trying in uni trinidad for a couple of years and it did not happen right so this was my it felt like it was my last opportunity to do something that i really wanted to do right and then boom i'm pregnant with twins and that was like it was a period of bittersweet because i really wanted to become a dentist and then with knowing that you know and you are pregnant at that point in time now what are you going to do seriously madonna are you going to you know drop everything and just go jamaica and you're already pregnant you're going to start dental school what are you going to do so these are like a lot of things that i was asking myself at that point in time you know madonna what are you going to do how are you going to do this and as I said before, it was bittersweet because I really wanted to go. I, I felt as though, you know, this is something I'm finally going to accomplish something. I'm finally going to accomplish something that I want to do. And well, so it so happened that I did not went to <laughs> Mona Jamaica, you know, and praise God I didn't because I, I honestly, I know when, when you are pregnant, the sleep, the yeah you are sleepy you are all how you are irritable ah uh, i don't think i would have been able to do all that you know with twins there every every woman is different you know and some people could do a lot of work while they are pregnant and then some people can't because it's too much for them right and i was still i was um i was working during that period and stuff when i was pregnant and it was it was a nice pregnancy i must say i had a fantastic pregnancy praise god praise jesus <laughs> for that and it i'm just saying this to tell you that you know i wanted this in my time i wanted to become a a, a dentist at that point in time but hear what god said no i don't want you to become a dentist at this time i want you to become a, you know a mother at this time so in that scene when you really when we give our lives to christ he makes a way for us it doesn't matter how you see it you think you should have been a lawyer you think you should have been this you think you should have been that and things keep on falling through falling through falling through falling through at that point in time say god let your will be done and not mine because i it came a time when i had to do that because I, I find like every single thing I would already sign up to do certain things and things were just, it felt like everything was just falling through, falling through my hands. That's how it was feeling. But the thing is, God has a plan for all of us, right? He has a plan for every single one of us. And he know our deepest heart's desire. Sometimes we think we know our deepest heart's desire and we telling god yes god i want this i want that but really give you it if god give us it would we really be happy with what he gave us or our desire that we think we really want do we think we can really be happy because after thinking about that right i i turned on the offer i placed the offer for the other year and obviously by the time that you, your my children are like one one year one year old and that would have never been feasible that i don't think that would be be god desire for for me to just leave everything drop it and just go and have my husband seen about my children and about uh, seeing about our children by himself you know and god knows i wanted uh, that fam that family knitted we um that family that is knitted and together you know we're doing things together and these are memories especially when our, when your children are small the best days and when they are small where you can play with them hug them you know <laughs> play a wild game with them i would say that but when they get older and teenager how much they really want to play with you mommy go inside and relax yourself now you know children are like that because you know we all were children and we know at a certain age you don't want your parents around so much 
right but yes there is a time for everything and i thought that would have been my time because i tried and tried and tried and it just didn't happen and you know sometimes when when it have doors that would be slam in your face it will seem as though it's just slam in your face and sometimes when you see doors just slam in your face say thank god for the nose because sometimes he know if you go through that door, what will happen? You may become a totally different person by the time you walk through that door. Right? Something that you may want to do. I'm saying pray for it. You know, bring it before God. But make sure it's God's will for your life. Make sure this is something that God wants you to do. Because you don't want to end up down the road and then you're saying, shoot, I should not have done this. You know, God was telling me this, don't do this. Or I had a feeling not to do this. And the strange thing about it, I wanted to be a dentist, right? And the thing about it, um, I don't like sitting down too long. So I don't like sitting down in one place for too long. I get bored. <laughs> That's just it. I get bored doing the same thing over and over. Right? I get bored. So with that, it was like a period of, you know, recognizing who i am knowing who i am finding out about me myself and it's about self-awareness awareness also know what you want because sometimes sometimes i just have to ask god lord help me to know what i want because sometimes you may want this you want that you want the other you want the other give us a chance we really want everything and i was in a place where you know i want to do everything but you know when god has his hands on you I, I i can totally tell you i don't know exactly where god is going to take me here i don't have anything solid in my mind to say god is going to take me here 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 and here no i don't have anything solid right now i'm just like god i'm moving in your flow because i really don't know i've tried my way and my way seems as though it's not going to work out for me at all so i'm trying your way lord so I put that in God's hands and I say, Lord, you take charge of my life now. All hands is off. I'm, 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 I'm speaking to someone where, you, where you know, God is telling you, get your hands off. I will take you where I want to take you. I will do with you where I want to, what I want to do with you. You take your hands off. You are trying too hard. You are there trying to do this, 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 this. Probably you have about four or five certificates or ten certificates and you are not doing anything with none of them you know take your hands off and let god take complete control let god take charge of your life let god take charge of your situation let him get take control of your life you know because sometimes we really want god to to intervene and take charge in our lives because sometimes we don't know what we want <laughs> We don't know what we want. You know, I, I met a, a, a guy when yesterday and he was saying, you know, what, he, he's asking me what I want to eat. And I was like, I really don't know what I want to eat or not. He's just asking me that. I don't know the guy or anything, but we just sit down, sit down waiting to get service, service. You know, I went to a particular place yesterday and, you know, we are just waiting to get attended to and he just asked me you know what you feeling to eat I, I said i really don't know what i'm feeling to eat. and he was he started saying you know when he when he asked his girlfriend what she wants to eat she never know what she wants to eat but as soon as he began to eat something she wants that and i was like yeah for true sometimes i don't even know what i want to eat but when my husband comes home and he br brings home something I just eat what he eats, you know. I'm not really fussy. I'm not a fussy person, so I just eat what I eat, what he eats. But the thing is, sometimes uh, you know you don't you don't know what you want at a particular time, and that is where we could go to Holy Spirit and ask Holy Spirit, what what do I want? What do you want for my life at this particular time? Because God already knows the script for our lives. 
He already know what he has planted in us. He already know where we would go. He already know what we would do. He already know how many children we would have. He already know what decisions we will make and what wrong decisions we will make. Will, we will make. So we need to go back to God. So these decisions that we make will be in complete alignment with God and His will for our lives. His will for our lives. Not my life, not, not somebody else's life, but for our lives. Yes, you may be working a job eight to four, but God might be telling you to write a book. And you may make, never say, you know, to yourself, you know, I can write a book. Do it. Do something. There is a time for everything. And just present every single thing before God. What you want to do, present it to God. God, here, I want to do this. I want to do that. Lord, help me to know if this is the time, this is the season to do it. And he would lead us into all truth. He will lead us to know what we have to do. And there is a time. There is a time to build. There is a time to be born. And at that point, the time I realized this is time God is telling me this is time for me to have children and I'm telling you in that time having children it has been it has been ups and downs because you know having children is a different ball game when all the time you will basically you have no responsibility yeah i have my husband there but you don't really have no set of responsibility to say you have to do homework you have to iron clothes to go to um to go to school and all those things but it's a lovely experience for me it's a really lovely experience having children and stuff like that so i i am not regretting it it had that point in time where i was really you know dumbfounded and stuff like that and and he told God told me dentistry would not have made me happy also because I went on a three, three day prayer and fast because I wanted to know what God was saying and I heard heard him say dentistry would not make me happy and thinking about it now I would say it is true because I don't like to stay in one place for too long like I don't like routine. When I say I don't like to stay in one place too long, I don't like the routine of doing the same thing, the same way, the exact thing every single day. I like to be spontaneous. So God knowing, and I, it have a lot of people, especially in the arts and stuff, like to be spontaneous. Musicians like to be sp spontaneous, you know. So you, you can see that once we put our hands in once we once we put our lives in God's hand, He is able to lead the path. He is able to make this time the time. And I pray that whatever you if it's a building period, if it's a period where you, you you're going to have a baby, you know, the change and the, the the change and everything like that, I'm saying to you. Put it all in, in God's hands. You know, you may be anxious. You may be going through a divorce. You may be going through some situation. Put it in God's hands. You may be going through a financial situation. Put it in God's hands. Because you know why? He, he may give you a great idea. Go to God. An idea. It's a time for everything. There's a time for every building season even i would call it building season because in every season is for something maybe it's to build your character maybe it's to build your confidence maybe it's to build you know your self-esteem maybe it's to reduce pride in you so it's always a building season so whatever season you are in don't just pray to come out of your season what if it's a bad season help me lord to know how to go through it because when we when we are in our season and when we go through a time for everything sometimes when we come out from that season we are the ones to tell someone else we are the one to explain what our situation was we are the one i'm not saying if you are in a, in a abusive relationship or abusive marriage just say god help me to go through it 
yes you need to pray for god to help you to go through it and to come out <laughs> quickly because we are seeing we are seeing what is going on in in this life right now in the earth people get so vexed quickly people get angry quickly and we see so many domestic violence taking place right so there's a time for every single thing in your life so if you know you're in, in a abusive relationship pray for god to get out yes it's time to get out in that situation you need to get out right before it's too late so ask god for a way get people involved you know i'm i'm saying this because my heart does always go out to those who go who have who are in abusive relationships and stuff like that right so there's a time for everything and that was my time where i had to go through that and i saw a shift in my life a shift in my perspective about life and honestly i would say that i got mature more mature than before you know and i thank god for that i thank god for the the opportunity of having children i thank god for the opportunity of you know even though it was an opportunity and it wasn't there anymore i did not get to go you know dental school and i i i thank god for that so much also because i thank god because he know what is best for me and i just put every single thing in god's hand and i say lord i take my hands off so somebody i'm talking today you need to get your hands off of your own life and say god take the wheel i put you in the forefront and you take every single thing you take my mind you take my life you take every single thing from me I take everything let my desires be your desires lord for my life right so father god i just say thank you lord for today lord we know it have a time for everything single thing and lord help us to walk with god in your time and for this season right now in the name of jesus we pray that we will not go before you and do our own things but we will consult you we will talk to you so that you will guide us in the way that we should go you will guide us in what steps to make and what to do and how to do it lord put down oh god that that the details oh god for us in what you have to do oh god what we have to do oh god in the name of jesus that our lives will be prosperous our lives will be guided by you our lives will be going in a direction that you are pleased with and where you want us in this season lord i pray for every single person who may be going through some circumstance some problem some decision making that it may be that is hard at this moment i pray that you oh god will help them to make the right decision right now in the name of jesus let your light shine into their life and to their eyes oh god that they will see what they should do at this point in time in their lives oh god we bless your name and we worship you this morning oh god in jesus name amen and amen remember we are dealing with ourselves we are being better every day we are dealing with ourselves and we are be being better persons every day only in jesus name so you take care and stay blessed and bye bye